I'm not sure if this is one of the worst delivery offers I've ever seen, and I'm approaching this from multiple angles here. This is a, a catering order, right? So a big order, and note, 29 items, 29 items. You know, it could be main meals, desserts, etc. It's a pretty substantial package, you know, catering for 29 people. Granted, it's not 100 people, but it's 29 people. And then you're supposed to um, drive uh, 26 minutes. It says their large order, 26 minutes, half an hour with this large order. And note, includes the tip, right? Includes the tip. Ladies and gentlemen, please bring me a company a company that orders this or that makes us deliver this, please bring me their name, right? So they order in food. And as you drop it off and say, is this the catering order for your company? And, and get it confirmed, right? Get the name of the company and let's out them. It, it's time to out these cheap asses. It's time to out these companies. It's time to out these investors that are fighting driver health and safety as I've just shown you in my previous video, it's time to out their names. Now, this is, this is generally an order you should never, ever take, right? Because you're dealing with some cheap company who's making you drive, you know, across town 30 minutes. If you were to double this and project 60 minutes, it's 60 minutes for a, a giant catering order and you'd be making uh, $10.24. $10.24, including a tip for an hour's work, 29 items delivered for a company that's too stingy to pay you, right? Now, I would hope, I would hope, and I, I, I doubt this would happen, but I would hope there's someone on the receiving end uh, that's ready to hand over $100 for this job. But it's not going to happen because it says it includes the tip. Includes the expected tip. Right? So you're dealing with a cheap ass who is... And, and, and generally speaking, I made that video uh, yesterday saying tips need to start at $5 upwards. $5, $10 and more. You have no idea how many people felt offended. And, and I'm not talking food delivery drivers and rideshare drivers. I'm talking about the people placing the order, the people who believe they are entitled when they're lying there drunk on their couch. Oh, go out and bring me the food. And they're like, F you, I'm not paying you a tip. Your company should take care of you. What these people don't know is that the companies do not take care of us. Do you think Uber, Uber Eats is taking care of you at $5.12? They are making a fat boatload of money out of this one. This company is paying dearly. And because they're paying so much for this catering order of 29 products or 29 dishes, right? That's all you're getting, including the tip. And go ahead, drive 30 minutes. So it's time to bring names. Bring the names. And the biggest thing you can do right now on social media, right? Social media is our weapon. Social media, let me repeat, that is our weapon. Every crappy and shit order you get, which you most likely, hopefully will, you know, not accept. It's not like you're going to accept this and then decline. You just don't accept this, right? This is in, in, your, in, the, in the mix of cherry picking, this one slides through. But, for, but for, for my channel's sake, just take one of these, right? Just take one of these and bring me the company. Because if you bring me the company on a shitty order like this, I owe you a video. I owe you the food delivery driver a video. I took this shitty order, right? This catering order for the ride share professor. And what I owe you in return, and I don't have to mention your name. I'm not going to throw you under the bus. But if you want to get a little bit of satisfaction out of this, we will attach the logo of the company that is too cheap is too cheap to pay a food delivery driver on a big catering order. This here is done in the middle of the week. This is for a company. This is not a weekend party 
or 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 or, or a Friday or a Saturday night. No, this is this is for a this is for a a company, and this to me here looks like it's it's in L.A. Um, yeah, four or five Westminster, West Grove Valley. I I think this is in L.A. Yeah, in fact, this is in L.A. because I know the driver. I know the driver very well on this one. So bring me, uh, bring me. Um, this is actually down there by um, by by Orange County. Bring me the order. Let me know which company you actually hand it to. So you have legit, you have legit. Not we we we. I don't want to make a video where I set myself up for a legal issue. I want to legitimately know that the person you dropped it over, you say, hey, is this for company ABC? Yes, it is. Uh, this big catering order, is that for your staff? Yes, it is. You you might want to slide in there. Oh, by the way, you know, uh, I only got paid $5.12 and that includes your tip. Well, why don't you shame them a little bit? Right? Why don't we just shame these idiots? Because it's disgusting how these people are starting to treat us. And I'm talking about investors, companies, the people... Taking ride share trips, riders not tipping, food delivery people, um, bringing it to a house or a business, and then the person ordered not tipping. It's 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 shameful. I do understand a bit why, because the company is obviously bending them over and raping them both ways, right? Taking all their money, not and then the person not realizing, oh, this is all he or she gets. So again, catering order, twenty nine dishes. If you've got a bicycle or motorbike, you probably cannot deliver this. So this has to be done in a car. And then you, in your car, you're going to go 26 minutes plus the stopping, plus the picking up. You're looking at 35 minutes for $5, including a tip. The best thing we can do is use all the social media platforms. Take a picture, screenshot, tweet it out. The greed of Uber Eats never ends attach the picture, make a short video, make a, a YouTube short, right? Create, if you have a Gmail, you can automatically lock in, uh, log in with your Gmail address and your password into your YouTube account and post your first video. Hey, I'm here, check out my, and that's if you have two phones, right? You can film it. Check out this order, $5.15, 29, uh, Uber Eats is paying me five fifteen. This cheap company right over here, um, and and you're at the venue um, is 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 not even paying a tip. I I just want the public to know what the state of affairs is on Uber Eats, on Uber and Lyft. Let let's start getting these stories out. Let's start humiliating the companies and embarrassing the companies and actually showing the public what we are receiving. Right? It's it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable again for a company ordering this to not pay a tip. It's unacceptable for the company who's facilitating this Uber Eats taking the chunk, probably 80, 90 percent of this. Right. This is this is a big order. They, they're going to make these people pay. And then this is what they throw you, this tiny little bone. We got to fight back, ladies and gentlemen. You can't just take and take and take and take. Right. And, and allow the abuse and the abuse to happen and happen. And then the the anger and the upset builds up like a pressure cooker. No, the way we get back is you start mirroring this nonsense, this bullshit, this crap, this trip rate or whatever this trash is that they send you, you know, bottom of the barrel offer, um, garbage. You know, when you jump into a, if you do some uh, dumpster diving, you'll, you'll find this at the bottom there, right? Um, it, put it out on social media, right? Vent a little bit. Vent by using social media. Push these stories out. Right? We need to start fighting back. Show some muscle, my friends. Leave your comments. Thank you.